Welcome back to Mike's Yoga Channel and welcome to this morning yoga for athletes to enhance flexibility and mobility. When you're ready, roll your mat, grab some water, and let's get started. Okay everyone, so let's begin coming into a head to knee pose, starting with our right leg. So let's come to a seat and extend our right leg along. Right foot is flexed towards you. Left foot is hugging into that right thigh. From here on your next inhale, let's bring our hands up towards the sky. Exhale, shift a little bit towards that right leg and then melt it forward. In this pose, we're really breathing into the back, the right leg, breathing into the calf, the hamstring. And on your next exhale, slowly, mindfully release, roll it back up. Let's take it over to the other side. So let's extend the left leg along, keeping this left foot flexed towards you. Our right foot can just hug into that left thigh. From here on your next inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, shift a little bit towards that left leg and then melt it forward. Again, really breathing into the back of the left leg here. And exhale, mindfully release, roll it back up. From here, let's extend both legs out wide. So extend the right leg as well as the left leg, keeping both feet flexed towards you. We'll come into a wide legged forward fold. So again, let's inhale, bring the hands up. Exhale, melt it forward right in front of you. Again, really breathing into the legs. Exhale, release, awesome job you guys. From here, let's make our way into an extended child's pose. So let's bring our knees as wide as the mat, letting the big toes touch behind you. And then from here, start to walk your hands along in front of you, letting your forehead rest in the mat. In this pose, we're really breathing into the back body, the shoulders, as well as the hips.
next exhale, let's shift it forward and we'll come into all fours here. So let's stack the hands right underneath the shoulders, keeping the fingers spread wide, stacking the knees right underneath the hips. Tops of the feet are actively pushing into the mat. And once we have this nice foundation, we'll do a few rounds of cat-cow. So on your next inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, rounding the spine, moving with your breath. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round. From here, let's come into a neutral position. And now from here, let's extend the right leg along behind you and just sort of rock up and down, breathing into that right leg. And now from here, let's step that right foot over the left and look back over our left shoulder at that right foot, breathing here. Exhale, come back to center. We'll take it over to the other side. So let's extend that left leg along behind us, slowly rocking up and down. And then from here, let's step that left foot over the right, look back over our right shoulder at our left foot, breathe. Exhale, come back to center. From here, let's shift forward just a little bit and we'll come into a high cobra. So again, let's keep our hands stacked underneath our shoulders and let's extend the legs along behind us, pushing yourself up, really opening up the chest, opening up the hearts. Keep that core slightly engaged here as well. And exhale, let's curl the toes, shift the hips up, and let's come into downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal out your feet once you get here. And from here, let's just find a nice neutral position. We'll hang out here for a couple breaths. And on your next inhale, let's lift that right leg up towards the sky. And on your next exhale, let's bend the right knee, bring that right knee right behind the right wrist. And let's extend that left leg along, coming into a pigeon pose here. In this pigeon pose, let's keep this right foot flexed. And a few options with your hands. So you can stay on your fingertips or your palms. Or if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can come on down to your forearms. And if you want to go even deeper, you can let your forehead rest in the mat. And if you do have a block or some sort of prop nearby, you're welcome to place it right underneath that right glute. exhale slowly mindfully start to release make your way back up into downward facing dog take your time getting there and when you're ready we'll take it over to the other side so on your next inhale let's lift that left leg up towards the sky exhale bend the left knee bring that left knee right behind the left wrist extend that right leg along keeping that left foot flexed Finding a pigeon pose on this side. So again, you can stay up on your fingertips or your palms, or if you want to go deeper, you can come on down to the forearms. 
And again, if you have that block, you're welcome to place it right underneath that left glute. exhale mindfully start to release again we'll make our way back up into downward facing dog now from here down dog let's slowly heel toe heel toe walk our feet up right behind our hands and from here we'll just take a nice forward fold so bend your knees as much as you like here And then when you're ready on your next inhale, very slowly but surely, start to roll it up. Stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time. Your chin is the last to lift. Coming into a mountain pose. Awesome job, you guys. Now from here, let's take our feet as wide as the mats. Bring the hands together at your hearts. And from here on, we'll sink down, coming into a yogi squat. So sink all the way down. Try and keep your back as straight as you can here. Awesome mobility for the hips. Feel free to just slowly sway side to side if that feels nice. And now from here, let's make our way onto our bums. We'll come to a seat. And in the seat, let's place one leg in front of the other. It doesn't matter which leg. We'll finish this morning sequence by doing some twists. So on your next inhale, let's lift the hands up towards the sky. And on your next exhale, let's twist to the right. So right hand, right arm coming behind you, acting as a second spine. Left hand can just rest on the right leg. Just make sure you avoid the right knee. And as you inhale, try and lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, just gently twist. Exhale, come back to center. We'll take that over to the other side. So inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, this time twisting to the left. So left hand, left arm behind you, acting as a second spine. Right hand resting on the left leg. Just make sure you avoid that left knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Exhale, come back to center. Awesome job, you guys. That wraps up our practice today. If you want to take a Shavasana and just lie flat on your back, by all means, please do so. Um, but if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. From here, let's bring our hands up to our third eye. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Thank you so much. Namaste.